Uh, hi all, we're going to kick off 2016 by giving you a quick update on the Tom DeMelfi case, which is just a perfect illustration of everything that is wrong with the family court system now. Uh, to bring you up to speed, this case has been going on uh, four or five years now. Uh, Tom has spent a quarter of a million dollars on his attorney to prevent the children from seeing their mother and to do as much as he can to uh, strip as much money as he can from his ex through the California court system. And, of course, uh, the state of California is not uh, innocent in the matter. Uh, the state of California, of course, gets paid through the federal government for any parent that is eliminated in a divorce scenario. To bring you up to speed, uh, a few years ago, Tom blocked his children for almost a complete year from their mother in complete violation of the family court order. And uh, so the judge at the trial, Judge Guasco, made the very bold statement that, you know, if you don't stop this, Tom, I may need to throw you in prison. But, of course, the family court system being what it is, there is no recording of that trial, and a mere few weeks later, uh, Tom's ex was then forced to retroactively pay child support for the year the children were abducted. So she had to pay child support for the abduction of her children. Now, recently, Tom got himself a job, and his income is around $170,000 a year, and his ex's income is in the neighborhood of $40,000. Um, despite the disparity in their incomes and Tom's refusal to let the children anywhere near their mother, Tom's ex is now forced to pay approximately 100% of her income to Tom. So a lot of people want to fight about, you know, family court needs to be fixed because it's a broken system. It's not a broken system. This is modern slavery. This is a system where Tom can use the court system to oppress his ex and take every penny she makes for himself. Anytime Tom's ex files anything with the courts saying, please let me keep some of my own income, the court comes back telling her that the difference in their incomes is not significant enough to warrant a change in the child support amount. To further illustrate how corrupt and twisted the family court system is, when posed with the question, Tom, is your ex dangerous? Tom can feed whatever answer serves him best at any given time. He recently met with one lawyer and said, oh no, she's not dangerous at all, which resulted in Tom getting the rescheduling of a child support hearing, which equals money in Tom's pocket. Now, a different lawyer who was brought in to take care of the kids, who would, got a request from one of Tom's children to see their mother, okay? This lawyer... Mandy Sanderson, her job is to make sure that these kids are cared for, the best interest of the children. This child approached her own lawyer and said, I would like to see my mother. And when Tom learned of this, Tom got in touch with this attorney and convinced this attorney, guess what? Mom's dangerous. And of course, that was an attempted restraining order and the blocked request of his own child to see their mother. So obviously, 
Whatever answer comes out of Tom's mouth is what gets Tom money at that moment in time. Nobody in the process is really going to argue with this because everyone's getting paid. Everyone is tapping into Tom's ex for money. She's forced to pay Tom. She's forced to pay her attorney. She's supposed to pay, forced to pay the child's attorney. And no one sees what's happening because it's all behind closed doors. And lastly, Parental Alienation 101. Since mom has been completely removed from the children's lives and has had virtually no contact with them in a complete year, Tom can spin whatever story suits his needs. But most of all is the fact that as outrageous as this case is, it is by no means unique. We are living at a time where thousands upon thousands of children are being stripped of loving parents because it's profit. It profits the courts. It profits the lawyers. It profits the exes. And it all needs to be fixed. And this is the year it's all going to come to a head. People, we need to stop sitting around and allowing this to occur. We need to take action. We need to get on the streets and get in these people's faces and say, we are not taking this crap anymore. <laughs>